Welcome back guys. In our last video, we looked at how we can handle the view and edit of an event using the create form. And in this video, we are going to handle the registration to an individual event. The idea is that we will have a public URL for each event where the user can go, add his name and email address and he will be registered to that event. So let's get started. The first thing that I want to do is inside my web.php create a new route. We will use a new column called identifier so that we don't disclose the event ID. I haven't created this column yet but we will do it in a bit. Okay, so we have this new route. We need to create this method. Because we have route model binding, we should get the event inside our route. And let's create a new page for this, um, I mean, a new blade for this page. Okay, like the event add, we won't have much except this thing and the event controller will return that page. So it's inside pages, event register, right? However, for now we have used this event add form we need to get rid of this. I'm not going to use this. Rather, let's create a new live wire component called event register component. All right. So with this, I should have two files. One is the event register blade and the second one is the event register component class file. All right. The first thing that I want to do is maybe I'm going to use LiveWire, name of the component. Okay, and let's just display this for now. Okay, and we don't have an identifier yet, so that is going to create a problem. Let me come over here have this field called identifier length will be 10 and let me also add this to the index because you now most of the queries for the route model binding that we have done the the where clause will be on this column right so make it efficient i am adding an index to this particular column and what else i think the migration is done one small little change that we will do is in add form when we are doing a create right this is our update okay um event identifier will be string random right so uh, that is not required in the events update which we are doing here so i have just uh, added this key when we are doing a create okay so let's see with this i think i'll open up my sqlite database browser and no it's not that one browse so i have this event right why don't we you know clear the migration php artisan migrate refresh seed 
okay and let's see i still have the users right yes i do so the event is empty why don't we create that one again we had 50 so this is done right and if we look at the event now we have this identifier right so this is how the url will be formed why don't we show that inside event listing no not the class file here identifier like so hit refresh and we have this so based on the web route that we have created we should get a url like register slash copy this token right so we get the component in here so our basic route model binding and uh, uh, the pages are you know, working properly however one small little thing is i don't get this in the center let me quickly see that so let me go to pages this right i think what we can do is from this home I'll copy this okay and I'll add it here and in here I can add this get rid of this and now if I refresh yeah so this is fine for now I need to pass the event in some way so let's look at that inside the event controller we have this registration method we will pass the event okay and now i should be able to do something like dollar event name if i'm not wrong event name okay so I'll add that. Close this out. And where is that? Okay. So yeah, I'm getting the event name in here. However, we need to pass the rest of the data to this component. So we can do this. Okay, and now this component should have now I'm gonna paste in a little bit of um, marker so that you know we can speed up things so once that is done I'll come back all right so I have the entire markup ready with me now so I have a you know, content div in that I am showing the event name in h2 then i have one row where it says the name of the contact person the email which is in mail to link then if my participant allowed participant is not equal to zero right which means if it's not unlimited then i am showing the total seats and the seats available okay and then i have a small little form which we will use for registration okay but before we get this into working we are looking at event in here entire um, you know, component is looking for an event so which means inside event register i need to use the mount function and in this i'll pass the event okay so this is ready let's have hit refresh and if you see we have this ready right a card inside a card i think at least what we can do is get rid of this event register right i'll get rid of the card it doesn't look very good yeah like so okay so we have all these details in place and 
you know we are rendering the form so let's quickly see what have we done so far just for clarity right so the first thing that we did was created a url a route uh, which is you know register slash you know the event and we are saying that this event will be loaded using the identifier if if i have done something like this it would do a where clause based on the id okay the unique identifier for that particular model however when we do a colon and then we mention something this basically means that inside the event controller it's doing a you know event query where identifier and then you know the key which is available in the routes so this is a nice and nifty way of you know doing route model binding with other columns if you have you know such requirements okay we did this so that you know the id of the event is not disclosed we don't disclose the number of events which we are handling in our site but yeah that's that's how we did that inside the event controller because we were getting that event model we have sent that to our page have done a mistake it's it should be event okay and we will refactor rename this to event sorry i hope i haven't broken anything no we haven't right there was those were the only two places where it was yeah you know, referenced so yeah so yeah um no again i have created a page and then inside that i am returning the live wire component i am not directly doing that which we had done for the you know edit and you know view part of it that was just an example but i typically want that you know i have a page which is composed of components and not the actual component you know rendered so that's my way of doing things and we render the live wire event register this is our blade file for the component a live wire component we have you know these data coming up i have a form for which i need the submit function let's quickly look at that where is our components class file in here mm. okay i have submit function in here in this we'll quickly do the validation validate i'll have two fields so Hmm. what is this just get rid of this and this dollar sign as well i have an array inside the validate which says that the email will be required okay and the name is required as well once this is done right we will also need two more fields um public fields one is email and name because in the components blade file right we have wire model name and wire model email so these two things are now getting populated enter your name enter your email address and we are you know entering the validation messages as well which we mean if i try to submit it shows that the name field is required the name email field is required right so the validation part is done i think once we create the registration table we should have the entire flow done which we will cover in the next video so thanks for watching guys if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel